What's going on guys, it's Goofy Hero, and today we are building Island Ice Cave. Now a few guys did request this video, so I'm gonna go ahead and try my best to uh, build this to the best of my abilities. Now, um, oop, I, I left a little pillar here from my testing, but um, I have lived in Island Ice Cave multiple times across multiple servers, I've raided a few, so I kinda know what I'm doing when it comes to Island Ice Cave, but I'm only gonna be doing the front wall for today's purposes. If you guys do wanna see a full entire Island Ice Cave build from the front to the back, just leave it down in the description, or not the description, but in the comments down below, and I'll try to do it if you get enough of you guys want that. But Island Ice is a little different than a lot of your other caves where you will have three different walls you have one here one here and one here where as opposed to other walls where you have one flat wall but um, what we're gonna start off with is the frame for each wall so we're gonna start with pillars and go straight across so for this wall the main wall you can call it or the center wall which actually is one of the smaller walls we're just gonna go to the rear side of these pillars and then just go straight across with the pillars. Now you wanna go as far back as you can in this build, so you have as much distance from the crouch to the wall, because regardless where you put turrets in here, they will shoot to the crouch, it's not that far. So I'm gonna go ahead and build the pillar frames for all three of these, and then I'll come back to you guys. All right, and once the pillars are finished, they should look something like this with the middle ones, just like I told you how to place them right at the edge of the pillars here. These right in front of this crystal. Now I am an unofficial builder, so uh, I come from an unofficial background with collision turned off. So you can do things like this and unofficial you can't. So it'll be a slightly different build if you're building this unofficial, but of course they're pretty much the same just with minor adjustments. But this will be your pillar wall on this side, right in front of this crystal and kind of just in this line facing this way. And here I like to start right in front of this crystal, kind of line it up this way and then go the whole way to the edge. Some, type, some people like to kind of taper it off here and go this way from like here and that's fine if you like to do that to make the wall a little shorter but that way it's kind of difficult to soak whatever's on that side without actually fully committing but to be honest once they're over there and they're soaking that they're pretty much in the ice cave anyway but now uh for the rest of the frame we need to add the ceilings and we need to add the door frames if you are on unofficial so to do that we're going to add a few um foundations now i'm going to foundation off all of this entrance here just because i like to have that option to have full foundation control in the entire room at all points during the raid that way it kind of makes it hard for them to even push turrets anywhere close but realistically it's ice cave they shouldn't be able to get turrets in the tunnel as long as you place a cliff plot somewhere in here but we're going to go ahead we're going to place some foundations and then from those we'll place the door frames going up in front just for an extra snap point of course for the ceiling for the pillars and just a little harder to make it through the pillars if they do manage to blow it uh, of course this wall and and all three of these walls will be vault dropped. I'm not gonna personally do that because I don't have anybody to help me vault drop. And solo vault dropping is a pain, but these walls should be vault dropped uh, with the way I build them. A lot of people like to keep their walls open. I personally don't. So a vault dropped wall is gonna be much stronger, but I'm gonna go ahead and build all the ceilings and the door frames. And once that's done, uh, I'll show that off. So with now the door frames and all of the ceilings finished, now the ceilings will be, um, I like to start pretty low, pretty much even with the water on both this side and this side, and then go to from that. That kind of just gives you a nice even pattern for all of the ceilings to get your turret placement kind of nice. And for here, you don't really want to go much higher than right here because a lot of this is just kind of extremely meshy and unofficial. It really won't even let you build much up there. So just having it right here, you're, uh, a cutoff point for your turrets you're pretty much high enough to start shooting them off stegos and stuff anyway so you're pretty much good there so now what i'm gonna go ahead and do is place all of the hatch frames for these uh place all the hatch frames for the 
the walls, um, of course, along the ceilings, and I'm also going to seal the back in with walls. Now, uh, like I said earlier, a lot of people don't like doing that so that the turrets can shoot both sides of the wall. Personally, I feel like that's just the best. As long as you have internals past your wall and you have a decent defense system past it, so turrets up here, a shandy or something back here, and turrets back here, you're pretty much good to seal off the wall. It'll make grapple glitching through the wall or running past it when it's super laggy a lot harder if it is sealed. And of course, we're going to want this wall vault trapped as well, so just having that seal is even a little extra security so i'm gonna go ahead and place all the hatch rams and seal the wall and then i'll be back with you guys All right, so now with your hat trains finished and your back walls finished, and by this point, your vaults completely vault dropped, uh, your entire frame for the ice cave wall will be finished. So every side is basically done except for the turrets. Now um, we are gonna go over gen placement and I am gonna place a few cliff plats in places where I like to place them, just kind of somewhere around here or as far against this wall as you can to stop building in the tunnel. And I also like to place one over on this side just because why not, you can. And it's in a pretty nice spot to block the tunnel as well. Well, but for gen placement, I usually like to go with something on this wall, this corner, maybe even something right about here for one of the gens. Now, of course, you can place another gen wherever you want just for safety, whether you want to place one up on a cliff plat up here or somewhere hard to reach, maybe even a cliff plat on this side just for whatever purpose you want to be safer. So something even on this ledge and you can pop that and that'll also go deeper into the tunnel. So you can place turrets in the tunnel as well with that jenny now of course you can place one here as well if you want to go super far in the tunnel and still have your jenny protected but uh regardless we're not going to go over building inside the tunnel we're only doing inside the front entrance in this video but if you guys do want to see a full escape video like i said just uh comment down in the comment section down below and let me know so for this wall every other or all these walls this this side and this side are pretty similar where it's just one hatch frame skip two hatch frame skip two hatch frame blah 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 but this one's a little different because you don't want to put three hatch frames in a row then you're not going to have any turrets that can shoot any up or down it can only shoot straight so what we're going to do is we're going to have a hatch frame skip it but have the ceilings and then hatch frame so you'll place your turrets like so so one here one here one here 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 and here and then for inside here you'll place the turrets inside your ceilings here so we'll have a bunch of turrets as many as we can fit really realistically that's really bad placement ignore that but as many as we can fit realistically in the middle that will shoot straight in because this is one of the main walls that shoots when you turn the corner of course this one shoots into the crouch and this one is kind of just a subsidiary just kind of here to block but won't really shoot but is also one of the hardest walls to deal with in ice once you're actually past these other walls but we're going to keep placing these turrets like this and I'm going to do that for every single wall and uh, once all the turrets are placed I'll, I'll uh, show it off. All right, so with all of the turrets now placed and being at complete 100 out of 100, this is what your ice cave will look like if you build it identical. Now, I am not telling you to build this identical. This is a very strong build, but obviously one, I'm not finished with it yet. And two, uh, you can change it up a bit. You know, you can take a few turrets off this wall or a few turrets off this big wall and uh, put some more into the ceiling like I have here with the triangles and the hatch frames 
and there and there, or even put a, a full hatch frame layer and float some turrets if that's something you want to do. Add a shandy to the top. There's so much that can be done with Ice Cave. Put more turrets on this wall to shoot down into the crouch, or put more just facing into the crouch. I only have a few because this usually gets ran pretty easily and on official and most servers that have decent flak going for you. This really won't be an issue to deal with really quickly. So the main choke is of course the entirety of the wall. But like I said, having these turrets up top is going to be difficult to deal with. Um, they're harder to soak and a little harder to deal with unless they can get in and tech rifle. That's something you need to worry about. So right here, that hatch frame's a little too more to the left. So if you move that more to the right, they have to kind of commit and or take this entire wall to tech rifle that. So things to take into consideration when placing these down. But like I said, this is pretty much all of the ice cave built. The only thing that we still need to do is of course the fencing and a few things to make this crouch a little more difficult to raid. Um, but turret wise and structure wise, this is pretty much the ice cave for you. It's a pretty simple build and a lot of builds are exactly the same. Obviously some have some slight uh, changes depending on what the builder likes. So uh, just uh, enjoy yourself when you do build this, but build it smart. So like I said, that's it for the turret placement. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put the final touches on this, the fencing, some things to the crouch to make it more difficult. And then once that's done, I'll show it off and uh, that'll be it for the ice cave build. And that is it with the ice cave. Now, what I was talking about stuff to make the crouch a little harder to raid is to spam a lot of fence foundations in here. One can be damaged at a time. You can't splash them at all. So if you spam a bunch in here and enough to where they can't actually even walk in here, it's gonna be a little more difficult to push the crouch and buy you a little more time. You'll be able to tell when people are pushing your crouch instead of them just being in immediately. I also went ahead and put a bunch of foundations here. Now, if you're able to do this that's great because it will just extend your foundation range even further into there so you can kind of keep your tunnel as long as possible now also of course i added the fencing this is extremely important and like I said in my last build video, to have um, tech fencing mixed with your metal fencing or to just have tech fencing exclusively will be massive because it is a lot harder to rocket down tech fencing. It's three rockets, I believe, as opposed to one for metal. And that goes with the whole wall as well. If you want to swap metal and double door or metal and tech for the pillars and double door frames and ceilings and foundations, just to make it so there is an equal mix so they can't just tech wrecks the entire thing if it's made out of tech and they can't just rocket the whole thing if it's just made out of metal so of course switching that up is always an option if you are able to do that and like i said this all should be vault dropped um just to make this wall a lot harder to raid but if you guys did enjoy this video be sure to leave a like and comment that you guys did enjoy this this is only my second build video on my second channel and uh this is a second channel if you didn't know my main channel will be in the description down below so go give that a ch uh Go give that a chance, I guess. Um, go check that out. I do a lot of um, just actual PvP content on ARK. Um, full series, movie-like content. So if you guys have never seen that, be sure to go check that out. And um, yeah, let me know what caves you guys want to see next. Or if you want to see me just build a war room and show you how I design my own war rooms for my bases when I'm playing seasons on ARK. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.